Hello, this is Bill McKenzie, Principal Consultant with Infront Consulting. In this brief video, we're going to walk through the installation and configuration of the Infront RightFax Server Management Pack or Microsoft System Center Operations Manager. You'll need to reach out to our sales team and they'll provide you with a license key and a link to download the Management Pack installer. Once you've downloaded the installer, you need to execute it on a server that has the Operations Manager console installed. From there, you can see the path where we will install the management pack files that you need to import later. Now that it's installed, we can go into the administration pane in the Operations console and import the management packs. Now there's two management packs that come with the installer. We're really only concerned with the core right packs management pack. Uh, there's a second management pack that refers to the Operations Management Suite but we'll be covering that in a future video. As you can see, we've got the latest management pack installed, so we're going to go ahead and cancel out of here and, and continue on with the configuration. Now that we have the core management pack imported, there are a couple of key configurations that are needed in order for the management pack to function properly. The first step is to ensure that the right back servers that you're going to monitor have the operations management agent installed and that agent proxy has been enabled for each server. The next step is to determine the operating system platform at each of the right pack servers, whether they're 32 or 64 bit, and then add a registry key based on the platform so the management pack understands which servers to discover. If you look in the registry on one of your right pack servers under HQ Local Machine Software, in our case it's 64 bit, so we'll look at the WOW 6432 node, right facts, and finally you'll see the key that we need to add called Add Discom. So far we have the core management pack imported and made the necessary configuration changes. The next step is to configure licensing and that's handled through an override. If you navigate to the authoring pane within the op Operations Manager console, select Scope and look for Write Facts Common. Once the scope has been set, you can select Discoveries from the navigation pane and check off Write Facts Common. From the filtered view, you will see the Infront Write Facts Class Common Scripted Discovery Rule. Now we create an override for the discovery and add the license key that was provided by our support team. Once we set the override, it will have to be stored in an unsealed management pack. This, this will be your first override, so you need to create a new custom management pack, but in our case, we already have one ready. Our final step is to configure a run as account with an operations manager that has the necessary access to your rights fax server environment, so the discoveries and monitoring are authorized to run. There are two methods available in the management pack that allow Operations Manager to connect to your RightFax server environment. They're SNMP and the RightFax COM API. Since the majority of our customers' deployments allow for the use of the RightFax COM API, we're going to focus on that configuration for this video. As you can see, there are two separate RunAS profiles that we can use for the RightFax COM API. One is based on the RightFax authentication model, and the second is based on NT authentication or Active Directory. We're going to look at the RightFax server local user access configuration first. If the RightFax server deployment is configured to use a local user repository, we need to create a basic authentication run as account within Operations Manager. This run as account is going to be specific to your RightFax server deployment. Once you configure the account, we have to distribute it to the appropriate RightFax health service. You can search under computers and you can see the available health services that you can choose from. We've created the RunAS account and distributed it to your RightFax servers. The next step is to associate the RunAS account with the proper RunAS profile. In this case, we have it associated with the RightFax server COM API RunAS profile. Now the management pack is the proper credentials to run the operations manager workflows against your RightFax servers, and the health of your RightFax server environment will begin displaying in the monitoring pane of the console. Lastly, we will look at configuring the other authentication option for the management pack, which is based upon Active Directory credentials rather than a local RightFax account. In this configuration, we're going to create a Windows account that's based on Active Directory credentials. Next, we need to distribute it to the appropriate RightFax server, same as before, and then associate it with the correct RightFax profile. And once that's completed, the healthier RightFax server environment will begin displaying in the monitoring pane of the operations console. 